we have this feeling that something is wrong with our standard model, um, and we have been looking for quite some time to try to see beyond standard model effects. And we've looked in, in the behavior of many of the particles, and in most of the particles, the standard model has done a very good job of describing how those particles will behave. But the neutrinos are different. The neutrinos have a beyond the standard model behavior. Uh, it comes about because neutrinos turn out to have mass when in the standard model they were massless, and this behavior is called neutrino oscillations. And so you can think about this as the neutrinos doing a little dance as they move along through space. They start out as one kind of neutrino, say what's called the electron neutrino, one type, and later on they turn into a different type of neutrino as part of this oscillating dance. And uh, it's, it was a very surprising thing for neutrino physicists to discover. Uh, it's a lot like starting out a race that you only have dogs, and at the end suddenly you have some cats as long with, along with the dogs at the end. And uh, neutrino oscillations were a very exciting discovery. It won the Nobel Prize in 2015. And, uh, and it is our first clue to beyond the standard model physics. And since we started to see new effects within the neutrino sector, we started looking more closely at the neutrino sector. And we discovered that not only do you have the oscillations that you could explain by having the three neutrinos that are in the standard model, there are actually oscillation effects that appear that are ones that are not what we would expect if there were only three neutrinos. And so one way to try to fix up the problem is to introduce extra neutrinos into the neutrino family. Now, if we introduce these extra neutrinos, then we know that they have to have some of the uh, characteristics of neutrinos. They're fundamental, they're spin one-half particles, and so forth. But it turns out that they cannot be involved in the weak interaction, otherwise we would have seen them already. Um, the weak interaction is weak, but we do actually see uh, uh, the weak interaction uh, occur. And so they have to have no interactions, and that's why they're called sterile. It means that these neutrinos, these new kinds of neutrinos, have no interaction at all, but they can engage in the dance with their other neutrino partners and show up in neutrino oscillations.